Okay, so let's get to the main agenda for today. What are the recommended sources? Specifically, I want to practice. So there is a student, who oh, this enthusiastic student. Okay, I did uh, all these problems we discussed in class. Now I have mastered them. I need more problems to solve. Where do we go look at it? Uh, for those students, or even good to you know, each one of you might be interested in mastering a specific subject. Where should you go look for practice problems? That is what we are going to address for the rest of this class. Primarily, do that. These basic things, as I showed, the channel has a lot of biomedical related stuff other than gate, but for gate, this channel has a lot of information. I have uh, curated YouTube videos pretty much for all topics. In each of the subjects, we have individual playlists. Uh, some of these are very well organized. Essentially, the conventional subjects, control systems, digital electronics, and non electronics, signal sense systems, aptitude, math, and all that. Anatomy and physiology is very, very elaborate. Biomechanics and biofluids videos that I put up, very sufficient for gate, and also with some additional useful biomedical stuff. Mm. We will cover up biomedical engineering, bioinstrumentation, you know, in the in this five months. But there is already a nice set of videos that has a lot of that covers a lot of material in the gate topic. Also, some to some extent, I am very picky about the videos I include here. Uh, in many of these playlists, videos that I have added at the end will be some pointers to NPTEL videos. Say there is a course on biomaterials, two or three core NPTEL course on biomaterials. All those intro videos will be there at the end of that video. Similarly with medical imaging. There are a couple of medical imaging courses available in YouTube. All those introductions will be there towards the end of this playlist. Okay. Okay, so you have like sufficient material to learn. First thing, playlists. These videos are just don't discuss solution of that problem. Many of them discuss concepts or solutions to related problems. So the first thing to, to start taking a deeper look at diagnostic one is to go check all these videos. Most of these videos is called. Start with videos that you find comfortable with, that you like. Okay, engineering math is, you know, it's there in pretty much all the, all the papers. The questions are all very, very standard. We have lots of previous year gate question papers to practice and solve, right? So most of you know that's the case with engineering, math, general aptitude, things like that, right? The first major biomedical subject is sensors and bioinstrumentation. If you want practice for this, uh, the sensor side is very well covered because that is their instrumentation syllabus. Actually, bioinstrumentation is also covered to a large extent in instrumentation syllabus. Goes by the name analytical, optical, and biomedical instrumentation or bioinstrumentation. So there are previous years questions available for bioinstrumentation also. In addition okay, to sir. that, yes, if you want bioinstrumentation, there are many examples in Coron Brown. Coron Brown doesn't go deep into no derivation formula and all that. They give you the formula, they put a reference, and then they give short examples. Current Rome has lots of examples. Even I would suggest, you know, you can, if you finish current Rome, try examples in Webster. Biomechanics. So, first thing, I have like uh, about eight videos in biofluids. Just, you know, go take a look at those eight videos. We'll pretty much cover biofluids part. Most important formula theory will all show up in the short 8-10 minute videos. Okay. In fact, okay, rheology is also introduced in the syllabus this year. So take a look at the videos that I put up. Biofluids. Uh, same goes with biomechanics. Take a look at the ankle joint biomechanics, knee joint biomechanics, and all that that I have. Okay. Sorry, elbow joint biomechanics that I have put up. Should it should you know set a stage for us to go deeper into it, to understand the concepts and all that. And you want books for practice, I noticed that there are many numericals, 
written in a very approachable format someone who doesn't who is totally new to the subject then they can take the book and learn very very fast okay so i suggest this book if you want more you know practice problems on biofluids take a look at this book at least take a look at the example problems okay we get a feel for it okay sir and with biomechanics you know there are certain types of questions like you know what are the anatomical or terminologies what are the different dynamic moments and all that there are some i have some curated some nice videos on that yeah. as plus well i will give you some nice open source references listing all the kinematic moments all these terminologies all of them medical imaging by now you know the where to find the example problems right practice problems after going through diagnostic one yes sir okay so many gate questions were from this book prince and links pushback is a very standard reference but um, so it's very elaborate yes pushback is very elaborate this book is relatively very approachable compared to pushback this is like 500 pages subject is very approachable lots of example problems are there start looking at them at least start with the important topics here uh, x rays mri and uh, ultrasound start with that and over time explore the whole book i mean all the topics in the syllabus okay, okay sir so for biomaterials again gate 2020 problems are example problems from this book okay so yeah. with this book in biomaterials the number of examples are very very less so i mean theoretical uh, numerical problems are very less so don't stop with the examples there are many chapter back problems start taking a look at them okay they are also like okay. very simple not like most of them are very easy the hard ones will get an introduction in this class okay sir and for the new topics in the syllabus i am hunting all this material science biotechnology chemistry where they talk about all this analytical tools i hunt those questions and get the questions for you Uh, they show up in the diagnostics i'll try to find references where you know we have 50 to 100 questions collection of questions like that i try to find that but okay sir bare minimum is you have questions from all this <laughs> in the diagnostics or conventional topics electrical circuits what i'm going to do so, so the books for all this are very very known, very well known the gate questions are all very well known there are multiple subjects like electrical circuits analog and digital electronics signals and systems control systems there is one book where you can find a lot of problems that's very good right yes, there are sir. lots of previous years gate papers um, available in the internet all telegram books and all that canodia one book has covers most of this pretty much all of this in the syllabus only thing you need to be careful about is canodia will also have things not there in the biomedical syllabus So make sure if you are looking at a problem in there in the syllabus then spend time with it okay so we have previous years gate questions if you want to also go deeper into uh, the concepts learn the concept shang series is also good and you have like uh, lots of resources for this in youtube and i also have made a hand pick some uh, specific set of videos that were very easy and approachable measurements and control systems again uh, two two very well known subjects measurements gate papers of day control systems has been you know the syllabus has been like made very very simple so know the basics essentially the transit function let's also i mean we look at the basics of control systems only basics are there gate questions are available make sure you 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 pick the basic questions you don't get into Uh, non unity steady state error like uh, that showed up in gate 20 unlikely yes, to show up because that's not a basic thing but transfer function might show up like it did in diagnostic one yes. there are a lot of youtube videos i have also made a collection of basic control system videos control system playlist examples are there in canodia signals and systems again uh, standard subject 
first thing is make sure you know the basics of this signals and systems, all the basics. We have great questions. I have a nice uh, playlist of YouTube videos. Okay, analog and digital electronics. I have a nice set of YouTube videos and the playlist has all these topics in sequence. And we also know the standard gate questions and all that. Digital electronics, they have given like long list of videos that covers the entire syllabus, okay? And the gate questions are very well known. We have uh, practice resources. General aptitude, the gate questions are very well known. We looked at all the topics, all the subjects in the syllabus. Did they leave anything? So, physiology and anatomy. Did you see that slide that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So, yes, I did one. I left out one major subject, anatomy and physiology. Okay. So, I found a nice book that asked like multiple choice questions. In fact, some of them very similar to the questions that showed up in gate. There are like 20,000 multiple choice questions. So, so, we are done with pretty much all the subjects in the syllabus. If I left out anything, you know, uh, let me know right now. Or so there are nice practice resources for all all the topics in the syllabus. Just went through that. 